Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you are doing good. Now, in my previous video, I reviewed on the Nokia 8104G and uh, this is one of the most iconic reboots uh, in recent times. So, I do hope that you have catch on the review because today we are going to take a look into the main event, the Nokia 5710 Express Audio. Now, this video is going to be an extensive view of the Nokia 5710 Express Audio uh, and I will be doing some comparison on the 5710 as well as on the 8210 uh, especially for those of you who are in the fans on which would be a more suitable device now with that said this video is done in collaboration with one of the uh, sellers who actually helped me to purchase this item from hong kong it's not actually available in malaysia but it's available in india hong kong and even taiwan now so with that said i will be dropping the link to the purchase, especially for those of you from Malaysia who are uh, interested to buy this device, I'll share the link in the comment section below. Now with that said, this is going to be all that you need to know about the Nokia 5710 Express Audio. So this is the Hong Kong unit and uh, this is the white and the red colored one. Uh, of course the black and red is the other available option which I think it looks pretty pretty good. So with that said, you can see some of the highlights printed here, the wireless earbud, uh, earbud inbuilt loud dual speakers 4g connectivity and an mp3 player so this is on the right side and you can see this the name of the distributor this is for the hong kong market actually over the rear you have some similar information wireless earbuds loud dual speakers i've got a volume and track control buttons an mp3 player with equalizer uh, you can support up to 32 gb of micro sd card 4g connectivity with voice over LTE support, FM radio, VGA camera with flash. So, yep, apparently flash is included this time. Bluetooth, micro USB, uh, games, long lasting 1450 4, mAh battery. So, pretty much that's it. So, we're going to do a simple unboxing first. Now, let's see. So, this is the dual SIM variant. So, the ones from Hong Kong are the dual sim variants so i'm going to take this phone aside and uh, we're going to see what is going to be inside the packaging so you can see this is the user guide unfortunately this is in mandarin i suppose so i couldn't read mandarin so i couldn't share for the information i'm I was actually looking for information related to the earbuds themselves to know more about the specification of the earbuds but unfortunately I don't think so it is included here so I'm just going to put this aside so Hong Kong market uses this uh, design of uh, plug 3 pin plug and oh, let's see if there's any interesting information here so this is just a 2.75 watt which is more than enough for this type of phones. Now, on the back, so this is the battery, and these are the earbuds, and that's about it. So there's nothing else other than this. So the earbuds are not included into the phone directly, they are separate at the moment. So we're going to just take a look onto how to get it back in there. So this is the Nokia 5710. Now uh, I've actually tested this phone, I'm just doing an unboxing for those of you who are interested in such video. So I've actually used this video. One of the things that to take note is that it is very difficult to pry the back cover open. In that sense, the 8210 is much straightforward, but with the 5710 Express Audio, it takes a little effort and this doesn't really feel really satisfying when you open it because it feels like it might break anytime. Now, I'm just going to show you how to open. There's a slot here and you're just going to try your best to try to open. As you can see, I'm having some difficulty. That's how difficult it is. I hope I don't break this. You can see how how much difficult this is. Most likely going to break my nail doing this. So 
as you can see a lot of trouble in just prying the back cover open there you go that much of an effort so for those of you out there do take note on this so you can see this is the dual dual sim variant sim 1 sim 2 you've got a micro sd card some information see if you want to know so this is made in vietnam not bad so this is made in vietnam so we're going to uh emphasize on the camera part later so we're just going to get the things in there for now so the parts themselves they are already uh in their separate compartments for left and right now we will be talking about the bus in a bit we're just going to put all things in and reboot the device so as usual this is going to be a rather long video uh, hopefully it gives you the information that you need so to get it back in you can see this these two pins i am not sure if these metal pins are in any way related to any of the charging i don't think so it is so to get it back in look at this but this projection here you want to slide them in you slide them in first and then you press your surrounding until you feel satisfied with no visible creaks as you can see one this side is visible so just press them in that's about it so this is what i noticed compared to the 82104g because of the sliding mechanism over the rear it feels less sturdy than the one on the 82104g in fact, the 8104G is more easily removed, has an easily removable back cover and once you snap it back on, it feels really, really steady. But when it comes to the um, 5710, you can see how much I struggle just to have it open and you can see the different layers of plastic. It feels like it might give away, uh, but that has yet to happen. So I think this is some of the things to take note on when it comes to the sturdiness of the design itself. So we've just put it open, so lock mechanism, there we go. So you can see that uh, it is connected to my line here. So this is connected to 4G with voice over LTE. So we're going to have a look at each of the uh, features in a while. I'm just going to share how the hardware looks like. So this is how it feels like. It's actually quite tall, slightly taller than the 8210 4G, but you can see that the 8210 4G has a much larger screen so the in terms of the um, pixel density the ones on the 5710 is actually sharper because it has a smaller display uh, but in terms of uh, the quality of the display they are about the same in terms of weight generally they are pretty negligible so you can see that the express audio has music control here this is basically the volume control plus and minus you also have options to uh, rewind, fast forward, play and pause. A beautiful metal uh, center button here, uh, which is really beautiful. In terms of the buttons, uh, they are just minimally elevated. You can see here, they actually just probably a millimeter higher than the rest of the body. Pretty much feels flat. This is in contrast to the 82104G as you can see the elevation here this is at least about two two millimeters easily gives you the depth of the buttons clearly especially you know if you just want to use it single-handed without looking but this is quite flush in that sense now we've got a micro usb c sorry micro usb charger over the bottom you've got nothing on the top see on the 82104G you've got this flash and this is one of the questions I asked earlier, why not have the flash over the rear? And uh, this is on the 5700, the camera is with the flash. So you can see the dual speaker here. This is a 0 0.3 megapixel camera. I really like the contrast of the wording. The Nokia word is in sort of this metallic, uh, metallic color here, which is quite nice compared to the white and red background. It really looks fresh. Uh, compared to their previous design. So this is the slider mechanism. You just slide it open and it's actually pretty good. So this is how it is. If it's slide. Now in terms of thickness, I would say yeah, this is definitely chunky because it's housing some extra earbuds here. So 
you can see that it lacks the 3.5 millimeter head check as compared to the one on the uh, 8104G. So this is just you and your Bluetooth earbuds, all right? You've got a dual speaker uh, to enjoy music on the go. You've got some buttons on the side and this uh, metallic uh, center con uh, button here to do what you need to do. So we're just going to look into the software side. Pretty much it's going to be the same experience when it comes to the software side because both of them are running on the same software. So this is for the calls. You, this is how the options that are available. Now, when it comes to contacts, uh, as I've said before, you can actually sync it with your Android via Bluetooth, but uh, there's no options to sync with uh, iPhone at the moment. So this is gallery, the standard gallery. We're going to come to the browser in a bit messaging new message so you do have a predictive text input so hi i am oops let's go back i pretty much forgot how to use the t9 predictive input uh, and doctor So the typing experience is actually quite okay. The button, the tactile feedback that it gave, this is actually quite good. So the feedback is quite good. It's actually feels sturdy. It's not flimsy at all. Um, I think it will just do the job well. So that is uh, a bit on the uh, messaging side. You do have options for MMS actually. You can block the messages uh, from unwanted callers or stalkers if you have any such issues. So you can see the options for MMS is available here. Now, we're going to come to the camera in a bit, Facebook in a bit, Snake, the usual affair. So, uh, the Snake games is actually pretty decent, I would say. If you are not happy with this mode, you can always change your level, you can change uh, your game style. So, some amount of customizing uh, of the games are available here. So you can see, you can add into the difficulties and whatever barrier uh, that you need just to in, just to have a different feel of the game each time. So simple but probably enjoyable. Now we're going to come back to the radio because there is something peculiar with the radio on the 5710 compared to the 82104G. I'll show that in a while. So this is the music. I don't have any music here, but if you were to have one in your SD card, this is where it'll show up. Videos is the same thing here. Now we've got an extra option here, which is for the Bluetooth earbuds themselves. So at the moment it shows that it's disconnected. There's something called an anti-loss feature here. So basically anti-loss features, uh, what it does this is if you were to activate it, then your earbud will be uh, changing between blue and red alternating color. Um, I'm not sure how much of that will be helpful. I'll show that in a while. So this is the settings, English with Oxford. Uh, I don't think this is freely available. I'm not sure on that. I probably is there. You've got a dictionary. Oh, okay. So it basically connects to the internet for the dictionary. Now we're going to come back to the browser in a while. So this is status, you can see you, this is already trials. Uh, from my previous video, as I've said, you can purchase this game, this games through your network provider. So that's how you make the payments for these games. So all these games that are here, uh, this looks like... I'm just gonna crash for fun and see. So this looks like this game is actually bundled together with the Express audio device. Uh, Blackjack is apparently on trial. You have calculators. I don't think they will have a scientific version of it. So that's it. Simple calculation on the go. Alarm clock. Okay, that's fine. Uh, nothing much there. More games. These are the other games that you can buy in case you are interested. Voice recorder is there. 
all right options for that so you've got countdown timer you've got stopwatch you've got the torch so you've got to turn it on there you go you can turn it off and the simple converter app so you can either activate your torch to the early option or through the this redundant option here now files you can see built-in memory from not mistaken is 128 we have about 26.9 available here counters that probably this is for all your data consumptions pretty much that I'm not sure whether you can limit your data though it doesn't, doesn't look like you have that options it just shows you how much you have used all right and calendar so this doesn't sync with your google calendar it's just a local calendar here now let's take a look into some of the features in depth so uh, for those of you who have seen my previous video then you know that the browser here is an opera mini browser which is actually a, one of the best browsers made for a feature device so uh, it's going to be definitely enjoyable. I would rather have an Opera browser on any uh, of my feature phone device for that matter. Let's see. So you can see browsing is quite good. Now the Opera mini browser gives you a lot of uh, near desktop uh, experience on a budget device like this which is actually quite good especially if you do a lot of browsing the opera mini browser is more than sufficient for that so the beauty of the opera mini browser is the way it compresses and the way it enhances later on for you to browse so that you get the best out of your uh, hardware so the spell is still loading, loading, there you go. So pretty good for in terms of uh, simple browsing. This is more than adequate. So, uh, hold on, let's uh, see, there are some. Okay, so there's some bookmarks here. Now this is how it compresses on the Opera Mini. So once you zoom in, you get to read the entire thing. And Opera Mini gives you really, really smooth browsing experience. Now, the Facebook is basically this. It's just a link through the Opera Mini. It's not a dedicated app, uh, but yes, you can use it here. Now, when it comes to radio, this is uh, the things that uh, is really confusing me. Now, if I were to activate the radio, Okay, that is too loud I'm going to reduce the volume so do note that this has a dual speaker so it gets pretty pretty loud so the phone similar to your 8104G supports wireless radio you don't really actually need it to be connected more so with this device because there is no way to enhance the reception so the built-in radio quality is actually quite decent compared to the 8104G you can actually improve the radio reception to a certain extent using the 3.5 millimeter head check but that's not possible here because there is no 3.5 millimeter head check so just have a look at this if i were to take this out i'm going to just place them here i'm going to place them here all right now connected audio switch to this accessory means now this is connected to my earbud here all right so if I were to listen to the radio, I'm unmuting now, the feedback of the audio goes into the earbud, all right? So I, I need you to, uh, to notice this because this is very different compared to the one on the 82104G. So if I were to unmute, mute, you can see that it's playing through here. So if I were to unmute it, increase the volume, it is playing through this earbud. Now why this is important is that is not the case scenario that I have with the 82104G. I am not sure whether this was intended to be this way with the 82104G or uh, this is simply some software issue where the radio does not play through the Bluetooth earbud. I'm going to show that in a while here so that you all can understand what I'm saying. Now when it comes to the camera, uh, pretty much this is the same as the one on the um, 
8104G. So let's have the camera experience here. Basically, you need to close so it doesn't come to the way. So this is a 0 0.3 megapixel camera. If you really need to take image on the go, then probably this is a useful uh, feature to have. It's pretty a dirty and blessed the back at the moment. So this is just a 0 0.3 megapixel camera, nothing fancy about it, but you can get creative with it. So you have uh, different camera settings, flash, effects, timer, burst, high quality, shutter sound. So camera settings, you have controls as usual, the exposure, uh, contrast, brightness, white balance, and night mode. So you have night mode, you have flash on the back, pretty good. Effects are basically different in the colors. You can see as I'm changing here, you've got different options to be creative. Same goes to the video. So once you go to the video, you can have your video with the light, which is good, which is not available on the 82104G. You can have these effects, normal, black and white, blue, green, yellow, red, canvas, negative which i really think is cool i hope you can see this this is one of the cool features that i really like about this device this is basically a negative mode now that said uh, this is how the nokia 5710 express audio is so we're going to concentrate a bit on the music features uh then i'm going to concentrate a bit on the earbuds then i'm going to share you what I mean with the radio connection on the 8104G. Now, if you were to go back to the radio, all right? So if, uh, if I were to uh, disconnect it, I basically just need to put this back in where they belong. So you can see once I put, snap them back in, they start to charge and you have this red indicator here. I'm just gonna put that back in. So you can see it automatically disconnects and the audio is switched to the phone, which is pretty good. So if I were to un, it's going to be pretty loud. So I'm going to reduce this. So I'm going to unmute it now. So you can see you can control. You, of course, this is not a music for us to rewind, but you can play, pause with these buttons at the side here. You can increase the volume and reduce the volume here. The buttons actually feels really sturdy. So I don't think so. You can oh, you can use the fast forward or the rewind button to change to whatever radio station that you want to listen to. Now, uh, how does the Bluetooth audio sounds like? So this is one important question. I do know that this is a budget device. Uh, it's not an expensive one, um, but yet Nokia or HMD Global has squeezed one of the features in. So this is decent quality earbud. Now, when I say decent, uh, the connectivity is through Bluetooth 5.0. So your quality of the connection and the reliability is there. And since this is not a fancy earbud, you can see by its design here. Now, this looks quite similar to the design of uh, Nokia E3101 here. It looks pretty similar, isn't it? And in fact, they do sound the same. So they are good for probably uh, an entry level earbud. The music. Uh, or the audio quality is actually quite decent in that sense it doesn't break uh, audio is clear but it lacks depth so the depth and the variation of uh, the different musics um, is lacking on the earbud so it turns out pretty flat so it's not a bad earbud altogether uh, this is something that HMD Global could definitely improve on in their upcoming uh, Express Audio, especially one that runs on a smarter phone software, probably with an Android. Who knows if everything goes well, they might even have one running on an Android phone one day. But for now, for an entry-level device, this is pretty good. All right. So uh, if you come coming from a more expensive earbud, then you might feel disappointed. I've tested quite extensively on Nokia branded uh, earbuds. And I have to say that um, the quality is similar to what you will expect from E3101, which costs about USD 30. So quite a decent earbud. And you can see the similarities here. All right. So even the, in the way it is designed, it's not designed to go into your ear canal. It doesn't do any 
passive blocking by the design itself. It's just there for you to enjoy your music in private, but pretty much just a decent experience at, at best. So nothing to uh, be fancy about it. Now I'm going to show you the uh, other feature, the lost feature that, I sh that we said earlier. So let's say that this is out here. Now let's say I misplaced my earbud and I probably left them somewhere, like if I were to leave them out. All right, so audio switch to phone for a while, unlock. All right, so now this is connected to the earbud. We can see the lights here aren't really blinking. All right, so the, the lights here aren't really blinking. You can see that. Now, if I were to go here and press on the empty loss, and this is finding the earbuds, and you can see it starts to blink in red and also blue. So this is the so-called uh, anti-loss feature. Um, question is if you lost your ear but you can't see them, uh, most likely you won't be able to see even the lights unless it, you're in a pitch black room. All right? Probably a beep would have been a better option, but it is there in case probably you lose it in the dark. So nothing really uh, impressive, it's just there, All right? So the earbuds charge automatically once you place them back into the ear, uh, into the phone, All right? But it doesn't charge continuously, meaning if you were to switch your phone, it does not continuously charge the ear, but it'll just stop there and then, which is actually pretty decent. So it only charges when the phone is on. So this is pretty much what the Nokia 5710 Express Audio has to offer. A pretty unique device, a pretty good one for the price. And I think it's, this is things that will help us remember uh, the uniqueness of this device. Something to uh, for us to probably be happy that uh, HMB Global is not just churning out uh, this legacy device back, but also bringing them with a twist. Now, to highlight the issue that I have with the uh, 82104G, so I'm going to unlock this device, all right? So for those of you who are not familiar, this is one of the greatest earbuds made by HMD Global, uh, the Clarity Earbuds Pro. It's a pretty good Bluetooth uh, device here. So I'm just going to connect this. You can see the connectivity, Bluetooth. All right, so device is found. Now I can, you can see that it is actually connected to the uh, 841W, which is the Clarity Earbuds Pro. So, if I were to play the radio, uh, so this is the issue here. The Bluetooth audio does, uh, for the radio, the, the audio for the radio does not come out through the Bluetooth earbuds. I'm not really sure whether this is intended to be this way because it does not behave the same way with the 5710 here. So, this is something that I find it a bit baffling because uh, you can use it for your mp3 uh, player but you can't use your bluetooth earbud to listen to the radio so uh, I'm really not sure whether it is intended to be this way or would there be any software update uh, to fix this if this phone can actually receive software update so uh, we might be seeing that I'll show you that in a while go to settings let's see personalization system yeah Yep, as you can see, there is an option for online support uh, software update. So, well, we'll see about that when it happens. So this is what I have to sh uh, share with you. Now, in terms of the uh, differences, both of these devices, you can see uh, the flash is on top here. There's a 3.5 millimeter head jack. Uh, no rear flash for the 8104G. Okay, it's present on the 5710 Express Audio. Single speaker. Here you have a dual speaker setup. Pretty much on the on the bottom is just micro USB on both of devices. So software support side uh, in terms of the apps availability and all, um, if, I think that the five seven one zero has uh, more free games bundle. So this is uh, to show you here side by side, so it's easier. Now let's go back to the menu. 
So this game here, let's see whether Racing Attack, you have to purchase on the 8104G, but Racing Attack is available on the 5710. So you've got more apps uh, that is available for free on the 8104, uh, on the 5710 Express Audio, which is actually quite good uh, because the price is actually reasonable, the features, the added benefits are there. And uh, it depends which one do you like or you like both of them. Uh, to me, the 8104G is a truly a nostalgic device for many reasons for me. And I really love the, the way this, de this device is being rebooted. And it really feels uh, really Nokia to me. Whereas the 5710 Express Audio is, is the evolution of a feature phone that nobody expects HMD Global to do, but they did anyway. And these are the devices that give me hope that uh, we can see interesting things from HMD Global, seeing that their design is evolving, uh, the features are evolving, things seem to be quite decent. So with uh, IFA coming in September in just a few more days, let's hope for the best. Now, with that said, if you have any questions uh, regarding this uh, device, do hit me up on Twitter. Uh, I'm more active there. And if you like this video, I do hope uh, you would subscribe, uh, drop a like button. It will really help me with my reviews. And I hope to see you in the next one. Uh, I hope to cover the uh, flip phone uh, shortly. So take care. See you in the next one.